Hi everyone and welcome to Mighty Kiddos. As you may know, a pregnant woman's body goes through so many changes rapidly and these changes bring about some aches and pains on a daily basis and it puts a woman's immune system at risk for catching infections and developing a fever, especially early on during pregnancy. This is why it is important to find out whether or not you should be taking acetaminophen during pregnancy. This is why I wanted to share with you this research that was reported in 2018. So in 2018, researchers conducted a meta-analysis of seven studies involving 132,738 pairs of mother and children. In this study, people were followed for periods of time ranging from three years to 11 years. The data was collected through questionnaires, interviews, and self-report on medication use. Now, what's really important is the results or the findings of this study. The research concluded that when a fetus was exposed to acetaminophen for prolonged periods of time, the unborn child had a 20% increased likelihood of developing autism spectrum disorder. In addition, it had a 30% increased likelihood of developing ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Now, it is important to note that this research, however great it was, it does not point to causation. What, what this means is that it does not report that acetaminophen causes autism or ADHD. What it does mean is that there is a relationship between the both. The reason why it does not state causation is because it did not control for maternal risk factors, for environmental factors, or genetic components that can put a, an individual at a higher risk of developing these neurotypes as it is. Now, why is this research important? The reason why it is important is because it, it allows mothers to be more aware of the risk factors that they're taking when choosing to use this medication. Now, I do want to point out that this meta-analysis also shows that in one study, it was shown that when a child is exposed to acetaminophen for short periods of time, no longer than eight days, it, it did not increase any likelihood in developing any of these two disorders. Now, it is very important to keep this in mind when you are faced with a decision of whether or not you need to take Tylenol. Now, there are situations where you may need to take Tylenol. Remember, during pregnancy, you don't want a fever above 100.4, especially if it gets to 102, then that's uh, 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 red alert. And that is definitely something you want to talk to with your healthcare provider to keep you and your fetus safe as much as possible. So when weighing the pros and cons of taking this medication, please consult your doctor. You should never take any medications, including those over the counter or supplements without consulting your healthcare practitioner first. Now that I've shared this information with you, I hope you find it helpful and I hope you help me share this information out there by sharing this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you on our next one. Bye.